One man is in custody following a rash of break-ins at a Madison oil change business. I want to point out, Shannon is not an anomaly. Mm -hmm. She really is the norm at Holly House. In fact, since 2010, 80% of the women wow. who've lived there have successfully moved into permanent housing. Meanwhile, Aprina's family and friends are struggling to cope with this loss. We go now to NBC 15's Kristen Mazur. We were talking about voter turnout earlier at 5 o'clock. The numbers were huge, and yet this race was called a lot earlier than I think almost all of us expected. Beautiful forecast, Carlos. Thanks. Hard to believe when you look at that that somewhere else they're actually seeing snow. Take a look. Hard to believe the second day of fall brings snow to Colorado's high country. 16 men are behind bars in six Wisconsin counties after a sting targeting internet child sex predators. New at 10, a man from Madison is planning to drive to South America to see the World Cup and help kids along the way. We've been talking about it all week, and today it starts reductions to the food stamp program across the country. Tonight, we're getting an up-close look at how frightening and dangerous it is to be in the path of the storm. I took about a year, and he was 20 years older than me and kept saying, okay, Lee, if I'm on it, you be on it. And now, I'm on it all the time. But first, after a series of high-profile crimes in September, Madison police are putting out new numbers, trying to show there's more of the same instead of a surge. NBC 15's Phil Levin explains. New information tonight about the Hazel Green police chief who is on paid leave. Today, the Hazel Green Village attorney confirmed there is an open investigation into Chief Brian Klein that is being conducted by Platteville Police. The village attorney says the matters under investigation by the village are not criminal. New at 10, enlightening students. Instead of issuing citations, UW police are using a different tactic to encourage student bicyclists to ride safely at night. The community of Boscobel is still recovering three months after heavy rainfall caused around three and a half million dollars in flood damage to the city and surrounding area. FEMA is there now helping rebuild roads and bridges, but on the individual level, homeowners still have not received any financial assistance. Authorities are investigating a body that was discovered in the Rock River. Around 515, workers at the Wisconsin Power and Light substation on the 800 block of Pleasant Street called 911 to report they had found a body. The Beloit police and fire departments responded to the scene along with members of the Rock County Coroner's Office. We do not know much else at this time. The body has not yet been identified. If you have any information on this incident, call the Beloit Police Department or Beloit Area Crime Stoppers. New at 10 and only on NBC 15. It's quite the cleanup tonight in Lodi after animal waste is accidentally dumped right in the middle of downtown. Take a look. On now to a Crime Tracker 15 alert. Madison police arrest a man Sunday accused of driving drunk with a woman on the hood of his car. The woman was a friend trying to stop the man from driving. This is the driver, 22-year-old Karsten Pardoon, who reportedly admitted to police he had a lot to drink before getting behind the wheel. Madison police are also investigating four other home burglaries. They all took place around the same time early Saturday morning in the same vicinity. Three apartments in the 2900 block of Harvey Street were hit. A home nearby on Barlow Street was also hit. In every case, someone got in through an unlocked door or window. Back here at home, students who normally only interact with their teachers virtually got a chance to meet them face to face today. NBC 15's Brittany McDonald joins us from the Henry Vilas Zoo with more on the state's online schools field trip there. Well, it is the second day of fall officially, and it sure is gorgeous out there. We're going to turn it over to meteorologist Carlos Tucker for a first look at our work week forecast. Look at this. To our south, an EF4 tornado damaged or destroyed 1,400 homes. I wanted to show you what we were looking at tonight. This is the completed tally board. Now, when you look at this, it's not sophisticated. You can tell these ballots were counted by hand. They were written on this board by hand. It is literally a tale of two cities here on the Wisconsin River. We are live in Sauk City, but you drive one mile up Water Street and you are in Prairie de Sac. And this 
is the big show. These kids spend all year working on their projects. John, 29-year-old Nathan Middleton made his first appearance in court today, and we learn new details in this disturbing case. I made a new friend. The vendor over at Cousin Subs lent me his infrared thermometer. This actually shows the temperature on the surface. So at 5 o'clock, it was about 100 on the pavement and about 90 on the grass, and we're going to test it now and just see where we're at. You can see that's 100. And you know, about a couple of minutes ago, it was actually hit, there you go, 109. So it's almost 10 degrees hotter on the pavement and drops down to around, boy, and you know, we're still way up there, even when you're on the grass. So that just illustrates we're talking about a lot of heat. And it didn't feel that bad around 5, but as I've been out here for a couple of hours now, it really heats up. So people need to take those important precautions.